We have our very first half marathon winner this morning. What's your name? Nick Liversedge. Nick, tell us about your race. It was tough. Went out at a good pace and it's actually pacing with the lead marathoner and he had just an even pace. Felt good and the last few miles were tough, but it was it was a good day for me, a big PR. Uh, from reports we heard from the course, you actually had to make up quite a bit of ground there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where I, where I came that, with get the strength the last couple miles. It was definitely had to dig deep and, and push harder than I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> but it all came out well in the end. Right? Yeah, I'm really, really happy. I didn't expect to win today, so this is really fun. Have you done this one before? I have, just once before, yep. What year do you remember? Uh, 2011. Aha, uh -huh. so any differences between that one and this one? <laughs> About five minutes in finish time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good memory to have. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for talking to us. Okay.
place finisher at the half marathon. The first woman just crossed the finish line here at the Metro Health Grand Rapids Half Marathon. Yeah. What's your name? Paige Bolt. Paige, tell us about your race. The uh, race is good. Uh, I really struggled that last four miles. I was trying to break 120. I didn't quite get that goal, but um, it was great weather and a lot of people out there supporting. I, always a good race and uh, lots of support from my friends and family, so yeah, it was good. Well, it's one thing to have a time goal and another thing to go away with the number one finish. You're a champion. Yeah, and that's the thing about being a runner. There's always another race, and you know, if you don't meet your goal, you just uh, kind of recharge and you go after it next time. So, um, Have you run this race before? I did. Last year I ran it, and that was my first half marathon, so yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, so you came back to kind of revisit that. I did, yeah. Last year I got second, so I was trying to go for the win this year. <laughs> Pretty good progression. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. What brought you back this time? Um, well, actually, uh, Don Kern and uh, the put people I put on the race kind of emailed me. I wasn't planning on running it, but they got a gave me an entry and just uh, so that I could run it. And I was like, well, it's a free entry. I might as well see what I can do. So, <laughs> well, look what you did. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good race, fun time. Congratulations. Thank you for talking with us. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice Which Jenna, sisters, twins, running. Look at that. Shoes are optional here at Metro Health. This is Grand Rapids Marathon. Patrick Lawrence finishing up there from Elmont as well as uh, Marissa Bissell. This is what everyone runs marathons for. For the health, for the fitness, and most especially for the beer afterwards. New Holland has uh, some of its uh, favorite, most famous brews here, and runners, of course, are all taking it to their lips but not inhaling. You can see this is a popular spot for post race carbs, conviviality, massaging sore muscles, reviving old friendships.